Hey guys, I know I haven't uploaded in a bit, um, and by a bit I mean a single day, but hey, I've been a little bit busier than I usually am, um, but I am uploading two videos today, so I hope that'll suffice. Um, and today I'll be doing another random Pokemon video, so let's just generate, go ahead. Cool, so we get to review all the Arbok cards. This is actually a Pokemon that I quite like, so I'm excited to be about this. Alright guys, so we're here at the Arbok page, and it looks like we have a lot of cards to go for, over, a lot more than we usually do, so first let's just get this out of the way, and let's just, let's just like uh, run through this. So firstly we have the Arbok from Fossil, so this is the first Arbok card that was ever printed. This is a, a, a artwork by Ken Sugimori, and it's actually quite nice. I actually kind of like this like older uh, Sugimori style when he would do like more dynamic artwork with the Pokemon. This one looks pretty cool actually, it doesn't just look like a regular render, it looks pretty menacing, like pretty cool. Uh, uh, the, the greenish jungle in the background is pretty simplistic, but what are you really going to expect for like the first set that the Pokemon's featured in? Next, though, we have the Hollow Ar uh, Dark Arbok from uh, Team Rocket by Mitsuhiro Rita. So this one is actually really nice. I really love the colors on it. Um, and I remember somebody pointed out that the pattern featured on the Arbok is one that we've never seen, like that, that never appeared in the actual games before. And that is right, which is kind of crazy. I never, I never realized that. I never knew that. Um... That's really cool. And uh, the artwork itself is really nice, and it's pretty simplistic in the background, but it's just a, it's just a really nice looking card. Next we got the Koga's Arbok. So this one is another Ken Sugimori artwork, and this one, I don't know if you can see what I was saying with like the default artwork, but this one, but the first one is dynamic. This one is kind of default. It's like kind of basic. Uh, it has a cool yellow outline. That's pretty neat. Um, and the background is a little bit nicer than the fossil one, but I kind of prefer the artwork of the fossil one. Next we have the... Oh, one second. We have the Vending Series Arbok. So this one is actually quite nice. It's a 3D illustrated kind of... Actually, I don't think it is 3D illustrated. It can, it's kind of hard to tell. It says this one... Oh, no, it's not 3D illustrated. This one's by Naoyo Kimura. This is one of their first cards ever, I'm pretty sure. Um... And it looks really nice, actually. I like the cave that it's in, and I like the details and stuff like that. It's very, like, the purple is very rich, so it's, it's like, very um, interesting in that regard. And then we have the um, Janine's Arbok from Versus by Tomokazu Kamiya. This one is really nice as well. I like how it's, like, coiling around the tree. Um, I like the background a lot, and then I like the leaves falling. Just a really nice-looking card. I really enjoy it a lot, and it's old. It's really nice. And then next we have the... Uh, Arbok from Expedition by Kyoko Umamotsu. So this one is really nice as well. I mean, no real complaints here. I like the I like the front view of the Pokemon. Like I like the front facing view with its mouth open. Its teeth are a little bit strange. They kind of look a little bit scary almost. But um, it represents like the hood of the Pokemon pretty well. So I I like it. And the background for the non hollow you can kind of tell is a lot more detailed. Like you can have like all these like the trees with like all the lines and um. Just like the patterns and stuff like that it looks really nice. And next we have the Arbok from EX Sandstorm by Midori Harada. I mean, the thing is with like a lot of these cards, there's not like a lot of them that I really dislike. Like, uh, honestly, I like all of these ones because of the artists. They're all just different artists. Like, you can't really, it's it's just hard to judge them because of the artwork. Because of the artists, they're all just, they're just different, you know? Uh, but this one is really nice too. I like how it's slithering along with the sun in the background, uh, slithering on the dunes. That was a big, um... It was a big theme for Sandstorm, so that that's a really nice Arbok too. And then we have the Dark Arbok from uh, EX Team Rocket Returns by Nakaoka. Uh, this one is also nice. It's just like going along the like arid landscape with a sun setting in the background. You get like all those deeper, rich like orange, purple, dark pinks, and like stuff like that. And then you have the Arbok looking to the right with its mouth open. It looks really nice, honestly. It it does, and it's it stands out. Like you can tell that it, like it stands out here. And next we have the Arbok uh, Delta Species from EX Dragon Frontiers by Hisao Nakamura. Um, again, just a really nice looking Arbok card. I really love how like there's like an island in the background. And there's some like water, and then we have like the Arbok with its mouth open, and you can kind of see how his hood like folds almost. Like you get to see like more of its body shape in this one, mixed with like the tail. Um, and then the fire around it, obviously, because it's a Delta Species Pokemon. So that's really cool. Uh, next, we have this Arbok from Great Encounters by Ken Sugimori. It's literally the exact same artwork as the Koga's Arbok, but just a little bit more updated. Just with his mouth open. That's it. It's literally the same artwork, though, pretty much. 
no comment on that one. Uh, next, we have the Arbok from XY Base Set by Naoki Saito. So this one is actually really, really nice as well. I love the like the effects like of the slashes and stuff like that with the Arbok's open mouth. And then the pattern on the hood looks nice. The shading looks super nice on this one, I gotta say. Uh, this one's probably has like the strongest shading so far. And then next we have the Shining Legends Arbok. It's kind of hard to... I think it's by Kodama. Yeah, Kodama. So I like the um, lens flares. They're kind of like hexagonal lens flares, which looks really nice. Next, then we just had like the Arbok standing next to some dunes. It kind of reminds me of the EX Sandstorm one, but a little bit. Just like a different like kind of framing. That one's nice. Oh, and on Broken Bonds, uh, we have the uh, Arbok by Yukiko Baba. So this one is also really nice. I just I like the, how simplistic the background is. I like how simplistic the Arbok is. He looks very small, almost. Um, but the background is super nice, like with those trees and then like the mushrooms and then the Arbok with his tongue out. It's just simplistic and it's nice. And then we have the Arbok from Hidden Fates uh, by Kirisaki. This one's cool because it features... Um, Jesse from Team Rocket, and she's like commanding the Arbok. He's got like you get to see like his a whole face. You get to see like all of his face, and then he's super huge actually. Surprisingly, I don't, I don't think you really see Arbok that huge. Um, so it's menacing. It's cool. He's like screaming. And then we have the Arbok from Champions Path by Nagimiso. This one is super super nice. I love how it's like shooting out like a green like toxic blast or something like that. The the background is really detailed and I like the leaves. I like the water flowing in the back. And Arbok is kind of floating with a, like a purple aura around it. It looks really nice. The shading is super pronounced too. You get to see like that Nagi Miso kind of shading style where it's like like etched lines kind of. Um, super nice again. We have the Arbok EX from 151. So this one is actually pretty cool. It's by SK Yoshinob. Um, pretty striking EX. He's shooting out like a poison spit. Um, and he's like got his mouth open. His fang is like glowing. It's really, really nice looking. Um, strong sense of shading. And you don't really get to see the background because it's an EX card. But I think it looks pretty pretty darn nice actually. We have the full Ar Arbok EX by the same artist, SK Yoshinob. This one's also super nice. I love the teal outline of the Pokemon. And this is like Arbok's first like EX or anything like that. This is like his first like anything. So it's really cool that they're giving Arbok some love. Gen 1 Pokemon that really deserves it, honestly. We have this really nice deep green background with like this nice teal outline and... Yeah, I just I think it just looks really awesome. And uh, then we have the Arbok from Temporal Forces by Minato. So Minato is a brand new artist, literally introduced with this card, pretty sure. Yeah, this is their only card so far. But they did a fantastic job. I really love like the kind of outlineless background and then you have like a super thin almost like not existent at all outline around the Pokémon. Like you get to see like how it's like it's like thin, but it even gets like at certain points there's like no outline. So it's like like, you can see it really on the tail, so, like, you can see, like, it kind of goes down, and there's no outline here, and then it starts getting an outline again, gets rid of it, and then you have, like, a nice, like, kind of cell shading style, where it's, like, a bunch of dots, and then you have, like, the um, background, so you have, like, these little plants, which have, like, white outlines, but... It's kind of hard to explain, but it looks really, really nice. And for a first card, hey, that's ni really nice. And finally, we got the Arbok Art Rare from Temporal Forces. So this one is super, super nice as well by Okubo. Um, just a really beautiful card. It's very diagonal. I've talked about this card like three times now. So um, yeah, pretty, pretty awesome, actually. And I don't know if I would be able to pick favorites here. There's a lot of really awesome looking Arbok cards. I think my favorite one is probably the Art Rare. And then the EX full art. And then I would probably say the X and Y one. I really like the one from Dragon Frontiers. Um, this one is nice. The one from Versus. This isn't a specific order. I just really like all these cards a lot. I like the ones from Champion's Path a lot. I like the one from Temporal Forces. I like... Excuse me. I like the one from Sandstorm. I like the one from... Excuse me. The Vending Machine series. I like the one from Team Rocket. All of them, honestly, all of them. I really love all of them, except for the Ken Sugimori ones. I'm sorry, Ken Sugimori. It's not, I don't have anything against you, but just compared to all these other artworks, it's, it's kind of hard to compare. I, I mean, like, if this if this Arbok EX, or, like, for example, if this Arbok right here from Temporal Forces was just a regular Ken Sugimori artwork, I would not be praising it as much. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I might even be able to squeeze out one more video before I gotta go, so we'll see. Alright, bye guys.